push on the 11 minute mark. I have my drone, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my third because now is the time when I want to. So I'm kind of taking that Terran strategy away. You know, attack to expo is my idea here. So I'm grabbing these roaches, and I'm going. And I have the reinforcement set up so far just to kind of chill right here. So here comes the pressure. Now, he did get lucky, and he did start moving his forces to the ramp. This was incredibly lucky. You know, I didn't... If I had pushed it 30 seconds earlier, I would have caught him totally off guard, and it might have been a totally different result. So, we're going to go ahead and play. He's pushing up the ramp, and nice force field split. A little bit of a misclick there, which allowed a good amount of my roaches to escape, but I got away. Now, he does have a lot of centers. He can force field a lot. But, I want to go ahead and push again. Because I saw his upgrades. I saw he didn't have any upgrades yet, so I want to try to push again. Because now I'm thinking, you know, hey, maybe I can end the game here. So, I'm going to try to push again, and he's going to force field, and as a result, I'm going to lose a lot of roaches. Now, I should have attacked these roaches right away, and I didn't. He's losing some zealots, but overall, he got the best of those exchanges. There's no question about that. Let's look at the units, uh, the resources lost tab. I've lost a lot of resources and a lot of units. He's going to get a couple more roaches. I'm going to try to get them out of there, and they do. I'm going to push just a little bit more and back up. There's one more roach. Now, this push may have seemed like a total loss to a lot of people, may have been bad, but I've done a couple of things with this push. First, I've made him scared, because now he knows I'm going to play aggressive. He knows I'm going to be in his face for most of the game. So he knows that now. Also, he knows that I have a lot of roaches. So I am hoping that he is going to overreact to roaches, and he is going to go ahead and get a whole bunch of immortals. And I can transition to hydras and very easily just crush his army and move on. So my third is still getting up. Not too great. So look, his, his macro has slipped because of the fight as well. So that's good for me as well. So he's he's being a little off right now. I'm having creep spread going across the map. He sees that I have roaches, but he also knows that with this army, if he attacks me with this army, he won't be able to win. Because I have plus one one. His plus one is just finishing. But with just sentries and stalkers and a couple of zealots, I can very easily beat him in an open fight, because roaches are this that strong. With the plus one armor, they're incredibly powerful. So, I'm reinforcing roaches. I'm getting down my hydra den. I still got my third going up. It's almost done. There it goes. It's finished, and I'm immediately starting to saturate it. I'm working on plus two two upgrades, because it's very important to stay ahead of Protoss and upgrades, especially for the style that I'm playing. So now I got two overseers. I got I'm going to leave one right here, just in case there's any sort of DT harass. I'm going to put the other one with my army. Now I'm also going to send a roach down here. And I'm going to try to scout his third. And look, he does have a third going. So this is what I want to scout for. I want to see when he expos. So he's going to go ahead and expo. And lo and behold, he did not overreact. He actually is still getting out Colossus, which is the correct and proper thing to do. So he's still getting out of Colossus, he has one immortal to the group, and I'm going to send my roach around, and ooh, I'm going to see it. Now I'm going to start attacking it, just because I just left him there. But I know it's there, I don't really care if I lose one roach, no big deal. I'm also going to go ahead and grab a fourth, because I see that he's grabbing a third, and I'm going to grab the gold. But I'm still going to saturate it, I'm grabbing both gases, and I want the gas, even though I'm a little bit gas heavy. I'm still getting my plus 2-2 two, two upgrades out, I'm still getting my Hydra Den out, and now that he sees that I have the Hydra Den, he's going to pump out Colossus. Because Colossus just wreck Hydras like it's no one's business. So as you can see right now, the supply difference is pretty hefty. It's 162, 166 to 128. So it's, it's a pretty hefty difference right now. So I'm getting this base fully saturated, now I'm starting to get out Hydras, as I'm hoping he's going to overreact. But he's not going to, prob but he's probably not going to. And I'm still getting up units. I'm getting a little bit lazy with my creep spray, but I already have creep all the way in his gold. So I've denied him that expo for a decent amount of time. I'm happy about that. I have good creep spread. I'm happy. And I have creep connecting my third as well. And I'm still dropping more creep tumors. So now i got the hydras. I'm at 184 to 144, so yeah, he's, we're still about a 40 difference. But if you look at the harvester count, I have 71 to 53. Look at my income compared, compared to his. It's quite a difference. Now, lots of Zerg, at this point, are going to keep getting up units. Which I am. I'm getting 11 more Hydras. Because once again, I'm hoping he's going to overreact and get a whole bunch of Immortals. And if he does, then I'm going to win. 
but once again, he didn't. So I'm getting at units, and now I'm maxed. I'm at 199 out of 200. Awesome. I'm getting up a spire, just in case. I'm getting an infestation pit to get to the lair. I'm getting a little low on gas. I'm a little high on minerals. It's no big deal. The unit's running. I'm transferring all my drones to the gold. When the gold gets up, I'm transferring them there, and I'm getting both my gases. So there we go. And my income is still getting pretty good. It's still all right. I'm getting a lot of gas still, and my income is still about 2,000. So, yes, everything's going good. He's getting movement speed. Okay. So I missed something real quick, so I'm going to rewind just a bit, because I missed something as I was explaining stuff. Now, lots of Zerg at this point who make the mistake of just sitting on this army. You know, they go, okay, I have 200, 200, I'm just going to pump out upgrades, get my to my lair tech, and I'll be able to hopefully win the game. That is not the way to be thinking. Am I 200, 200? He's at 150. At this point, I need to be army trading with him. I need to attack him. Because I don't want him to go ahead and just get the 200, 200. I don't want that. And it's especially important that I take down this third. Because this third will give him so much more income once he gets it saturated. And the reason why it's not saturated yet is, well, I don't really know. He made a mistake and he didn't quite, he didn't try probe up enough. That and he's supply blocked right now, which is not a good position to be in. So I'm getting all these units. I'm mean, letting some overlords slip into the fight when I shouldn't have. I'm transferring drones. Got my units going. And now I'm going to go for this third. So here I go, here I go. I'm going to spread creep again. He's going to see my attack coming. And here I am. And look, he has Colossus. This is a bad position to fight, so I'm going to back up. Maybe get some free shots at the Colossus. Isn't going to work. He just ends up hurting me. So now I'm going to back up. But now I'm going to go around from the side. And he's afraid of, a, of an attack still, so he's going to sit here for a little bit. And then he's going to look at this. It says, why you break down backdoor rocks if you're going to grab this expo. Break down the rocks to any expo you're going to grab. I grabbed this expo. I broke down these rocks. He took this expo. You should have broken down these rocks a long time ago. And now it's going to really delay him. So here come my units. He has this third going. And I'm going to target fire that third, so I want it to go down. Boom, I've done damage, and now I'm going to try to retreat. And I'm going to try to engage him from a more favorable favorable position. But it's not going to work. He's going to go ahead and hit me anyways. So he's at 152, and now I have no choice, but I have to engage. And he's just going to tear my army apart. My Spire just finishes. I'm getting more roaches out. And look where... I got some Hydras just sitting here. Look where, look, look where my, re, re, my reinforcement is. I know I'm not going to win this fight. So I have them reinforced back here by my Hydras, where I can fight in a more favorable position. Now, I did do some damage. I took away 20 of his supply. I did So I did do a lot of damage, but most importantly, I took out a lot of his sentries. Guys, that really hurts Protoss, okay? That really hurts Protoss, because if that's 7 or 8 sentries, that's 800 gas. That's a lot of gas. So, I'm getting to Hive. And now I'm starting to get out Corruptors. And I'm going Roach Corruptor because Hydras won't work against this army. So my Roaches are reinforced with Hydras right now. I'm not too afraid. He has four Colossus and an Immortal and some Stalkers. If he pushes, it might be a close fight, but I'll be able to reinforce and beat him. And he's getting out seven sentries. Look at his gas. Look how quickly that dropped. But he knows the importance of sentries. So he's getting the seven sentries. He's going to reinforce. He's going to kind of push in. His Observer kind of sees my army. I push forward a little bit and attack, and he's not going to push his luck. Because for starters, I have 2-2 two, two upgrades. He has 1-1 one, one upgrades, so I'm still ahead in upgrades. Yes, he has the Colossus out, but I have a good army of Roach Hydra. I'm still ahead of him. His sentries aren't yet there, and they only have enough energy to drop one force field. And I have the advantage because I can reinforce like a crazy madman because I'm Zerg. Now, I'm not spawning larva like I should be. I'm getting a little behind on that, but I am getting out more and more corruptors because he does have four colossus. So I don't want five corruptors. I want more corruptors. Actually, he has three colossus. He's getting a fourth. So I'm going to continue attacking. I see the force fields drop, and now I'm going to back off. I've got some lanes just to waste some larva and waste some minerals. No big deal. But as you can see, I'm also pretty gas starved. But look how many corruptors I have now. This is great. Corruptors. Got him. Now I'm at 186 to 140. 
I'm feeling good. Now, I'm waiting for a couple more corruptors, because I don't feel quite secure enough yet to go ahead and do this. So I got those corruptors. I got my gold. It's not fully saturated, but at least it's mining. I should be transferring drones here, but I'm not. So I'll try to keep on top of that. Look, this creep is still here, guys. He still can't export to the gold. So now I'm going to engage again. Because I know he has that gold back. I know he's going to protect that 30. So now I'm going to attack again. I'm at 194, he's at 157. The reason why I'm attacking again is, once again, I don't want him to remax. I don't. And now I have the Corruptors to deal with his Colossus. So I got the Corruptors out, I hit him again. Do you see what I'm getting at here? You gotta arm your trade with the Protoss. You can't just sit there on 200-200 and then hope you'll win. Because it's not gonna work like that. You, you, you have a very good chance of losing the game if you play it like that. And if I take out this third over and over again, and I keep denying that third, He's going to be pretty mineral starved, because look, he's only mining on one base right now, plus this one. So I take out this base, I'm in a good spot. So here he comes, but I'm going to choose the Gator's Arms. I think it's more important right now. I'm going to focus fire those Colossus, I'm going to corrupt them, and look how quick these Colossus are dying. Boom, boom, boom. Look, he went from 150 down, he's down, down to 109, he lost all of his Colossus. I am happy about that. A little bit of a missed micro here with the Corruptors. That's my mistake. So I have my Roaches here just kind of sitting here at the boss. I don't want to engage him up the ramp. So I'm going to try to keep doing some more damage. I'm going to kill some Pylons. And now, look at this. Mistake again. Look at all the sentries in the front because they have a closer range. So I'm going to kill more sentries. So I'm hitting them, I'm hitting them, and yeah, I'm not killing his attacking units, but I'm killing his sentries. I'm killing Stalkers. Look at this. I am reinforcing to a 180 supply, and he's at 79. Do you see how powerful an army trade is? So we play again. So yes, he beat back my attack. Now, something I should have noticed, which I didn't, was this war prism just sitting here. I should have sent my cartridge to go kill it. I didn't. That was a major error on my part, and you're going to see why in a little bit. But, once again, I have a huge advantage. I have 27 Roaches and 6 Corruptors, so chances are he won't be getting out any more Colossus because he knows I can deal with it, after, especially after I killed those 4. He's still gas-starved because I keep killing his sentries and he wants them back. I have 3 mining bases, or 3 possible to mine bases. I'm going to send some drones over here. And he's going to position over here. He's going to try to counterattack me, but I'm already set up. So I'm not too worried about it. But I am worried about this damn warp prism. Which I do not end up killing. He's gonna warp in more units. I'm trying to warp into Greater Spire. He's gonna target down that Greater Spire. Now, when he starts doing that, cancel the Greater Spire. Because then you get some minerals back. Now, if he had killed it, I wouldn't have gotten them back. So now he is zealots. I'm gonna send some drones in to try to delay him a little bit, and it's not gonna work out well. And then I have some roaches out. 